come to Cornwall, you said. Sunny, lovely it's day. It's always sunny in Cornwall. The last three break pass series that we've done in Cornwall, it's rained. I just want to keep the tradition going for you. Whitsam Bay Golf Club, Lee Whitaker in the house. We are doing break par here. If you've not seen a Whitsam Bay, we've done it in the summer, haven't we? And yeah, we did it in the summer. stunning. Yeah. Uh, myself, you, and was, Bernie. Yeah, Bernie was on camera. That was the second part of our coach versus student oh, part all those was? years ago. All yeah. those years at the start of it all. Yeah. <laughs> well, Lee, this is Lee's home golf course. Obviously, PGA Pro going through his training. And he's told me that he's been shooting some seriously good scores around here. I've done all right. So we're going to put him on camera today <laughs> and we're going to see how we get on. Break par, Whitsam Bay, Cornwall, not raining, let's go. Straight out of That's a golf shot. First hole then, Lee. First hole from here, 343 off the whites. Uh, brand new green complex at the top. Always used to be you could just sort of hit four iron and then bump it up, but the new green's got a bit of a false front, so really you want to be as far up there as possible. You can't go left, nothing there, and out of bounds right. It's probably one of the most difficult tee shots, or first tee shots I play, to get in play anyway, certainly. So, it's not a nice start. <laughs> Lead us. Come down, come down, come down. Sit. I don't know. Brave shout with the driver, isn't it? For a man as good at driving as you are, this huh? should be no problem. I like it kind of on that flag, you know, coming down just right. Start it at the flag and let it come down just to the right of the flag, yeah? Yeah, perfect. Chase something up there. Perfect. It's rolling. Rolling down. Come on, Lee, let's go and find yours. He's located it. Oh He's God, got himself off. into a right little pickle early on. Yeah. Right, what have you got? You've got, well... 144 middle, 154 back. I don't, I'm not getting there. It's too much of a risk to take, so... I always think through the first six holes, if I can get through two over, yeah. I've got a chance of getting under par. So okay. This is just a you just get it back into position, yeah? Is it through? Just. <laughs> You're hanging on, it's through, but it's just through. <laughs> Tree leaves back. Just, just get it out of the way, early. <laughs> okay. 120 in. 120. Back pin. Cool. Oh, I can really see that slope now on this green. Yeah. If you, in the summer, this is just gonna. <laughs> yeah, gonna roll back. <laughs> You're back where you started. Grab a piece. Just snagged up, but that'll do. It. Stay there. Okay. Chipping apart. Oh, okay. Chipping apart and then move on. I'm just gonna get a good wedge. Is it just is it just above that ridge? Uh, so it's sort of back left, so it's probably about five yards from the back, but there are bunkers at the back of the green. Saying, there's a bunker left, isn't there? Back left? Yeah, there's a bunker back left, bunker front and front left and right. Okay. So I favour the right side of that flag. Pitching wedge. It's a bit, bit right, but I should have a putt. Oh, nice bounce. So that's not too long, it should be okay on the back of the green. Just strolling back down this new part of the green, which is so slopey, isn't it? Yeah. I can't remember what it was like before. Oh, it was a massive, just a big drop, wasn't yeah, it, off so the front? Yeah, it was front. like a square green, and then there was like, it was like a bit raised, so yeah. there was a bank in front of it, but they've, they've cut it all out, put these pot bunkers in, which is new, you'll see these around the course, there's work being done on some yeah, of them. Yeah, a little bit of revetting going on. So it's, um, it's, a, it's a definitely a different green than it used to be. Okay, you've got a nasty little shot here now, because yeah, you've got to go up and over this giant Mackenzie. You know right, I'm back down You're back down, back down past us, yeah. <laughs> I'll sit down now. Come off the backstop. There you go. Oh, well, at, least you're not, at least you're not back down at our feet. Stay there. Oh, get me off this hole. Yeah, not the opener, is it? No. See what is a lovely opener. Look at that view. It's it's just spectacular. Record. Driving down through to this golf course is beautiful. This first hole can wreck your car before you start. Yeah, down, down here at your left. Steady now, steady. Okay. Down with a lovely outside birdie opportunity. You'll take this is one of those holes where 
you take par and run to start with, right or in, in my case, I take a lot and run. Because <laughs> it's, it's such a brand new green, there's so many little, uh, tiny little spots. Yeah, it's not quite bedded in, so it's, it's, we, we struggle to read it sometimes. Just outside right. Gotta go. I just thought that was going to be so fast. I thought that was going to be lightning down there. Okay, Lee just mopping up for his double. Good start. Come on, let's get... Get this one in. How much did that move? Oh well. Okay. Let's get off this hole. It's not me who needs to Why break... Why are you going to be doing that all the way around with these waterproofs? <laughs> is, that, is that what you're blaming? That's what I'm blaming. <laughs> anyway, Dad, it's not me who needs to break pies. It's all about you. <laughs> Good par, well done. I'll take it and run away as you said. So it's all about the tee shot this hole. Okay, You're in play. I completely agree. <laughs> You've got to get it in play. It doesn't matter how far back you are, get it in play. Okay Dan, second hole. Second hole, 283 yards. It's a short one. It might sound short on the card, but when you get up here and stand here looking at it, it's dangerous. Yep. Bunkers so left up the left hand side of the fairway and then two bunkers on the uh, one front left one front right is there another one a little bit further back there as well yeah there's one to the right of that so i would say based on that i need to get myself into a position where that bunker first bunker on the left hand side is two 228 to get to it so really either you have a pop at it which today's wind i'm not going to get there so I've got to lay myself up short of that bunker on the left hand side, so 220, so I need to just pop something down there at like 200. Yeah, so the, the play is if you go up that bank that you're seeing there, yeah. it's probably going to roll back down. And with the gauze on the left, gauze on the right and those bunkers, yeah. it's now a, very much a risk reward shot because if you're in them, it's got quite a steep face and you're going to struggle to get to the green. It should just be in the rough as long as it's not too long. Yeah, oh, that's perfect. So you want to be done? That's all we needed. Absolutely. There's the uh, iconic dovecot. Dovecot, which is the logo on the the actual logo of the, of the actual. There you go. Mm -hmm. I really, really like that logo. I think that's such a cool logo. Okay, clubly. Four. Uh, four iron. Four iron. Yeah. Same so as yours. Literally, aim at my ball. Is is kind of the line, isn't it? If the wind's behind, you can have a pop at it. Yeah. But if it's not, you've just got to be sensible and stay in play, really. That'll do you. Go and fly a little bit, please. Fly a bit. Yeah, it's fine, isn't it? Yeah. Absolutely fine. Just <coughs> over the over the, just over the path. God, just carrying. Well, I don't know if you carried it or bounced around here. I didn't see it kind of. It all feeds down. Feeds down. Okay, what club have you got then, Lee? Uh, Fifty. Because you've got 105 to the middle, one, uh, 94 to the front, and 118 through the back. Yeah, pins on the top. Top part of the green on the right, and everything on this green feeds left to right. Okay. So I'm just going to favour the sort of left side of it. Right, yo. I'm going to come this side on you because I can't see anything. Should be pretty good. Yeah, it looks really good. Just all about the clubbing, really. Great shot. 14, I've got. That's about right. 114 playing. Probably playing about five or six up. Yeah. 114, 120. Slightly into breeze. breeze. Yeah. Smooth nine. So I'm going to try and hit a little, a little choppy nine. If you're going to feed it in, sort of <laughs> favour, sort of six foot left of that flag, and it will feed into it. Yeah. Great shot. Maybe a bit too left, unfortunately. No. Uh, I might grab a little piece. It didn't feed. A big holiday trade on this one then, uh, Lee? In the summer, uh, we do. We get a lot of um, visitors who visit the beach, so the, the dovecot. Actually, yeah. that's what the clubhouse is called now, the dovecot. Yeah. Gets a lot of like passing trade for food and beverage. About 300 odd members? Yeah. Um, so it's you can sometimes quiet, get a bit. It? It gets quiet. Millionaires golf sometimes. Yeah, I bet, which yeah. is, it's good for me when it comes to filming anyway. Uphill is going to come in off the left. This green's going to be slower than that one because that's all fescue grass. This is still sort of got some of the old grasses in it. So okay. that's the only green that's different to the rest of them. When you have. Oh, but not that one. You have given that away. Sit down. Not too bad. 
Oh, it's still nicely on you though at the end. Down, downhill off the right. It's not too bad in the summer and now because it will sort of slow down, but in the winter this could degreen. Oh, sorry, in the summer this could degreen. Um, but it's definitely off the right. Don't be scared of it because the greens are a little bit slower than the first one. Good line. Don't be scared of it. Crikey, it's off. It's gone. But don't whack it. <laughs> you see, in the summer, how I mean, like that could disappear in the summer. I just thought that was going to be so slow. Yeah, I don't see a lot in there. But the pace I'm going to hit it. Good, good line, yeah, die. Oh, that annoys me. That sort of thing just rattles me. It's not a three pot though, Dan, because you weren't on the green. Hey, Lee mopping up for his par. What an adventurous par. We do get some good views around here, Dan. The views are spectacular. Yeah, well done, very good. Good little two putt off the front there, very good mate. Third hole, the bomb hole. So that's uh, a bomb crater. Bomb crater, the green is made from a bomb crater from the Second World War. Yes it is. Uh, really actually hard hole, it's stroke index three on our card. Okay. Um, it's got a narrow entrance into it. Yeah. Um, so, so in the summer you need to run it in. Winter you can pitch the green, but if you go left, you gotta sort of chip over the crater to yeah. get in. If you go right, um, you can sort of go out of place. It's a, this is a good three. It's a great three, yeah. Straight <laughs> into the breeze. Especially One, into the wind. 186. Hold there, that looks goodly. Probably going to be short. Yeah. Uh, be okay pop. there. What was that, a five? Yeah, just tried to hit a low five into it. It's, um, it can balloon up quite easily here. Is one of those holes you're happy with a four? Happy with a four? Yeah. <laughs> There's, there's opportunities to make birdies around here. It's always the first six, because it's because we're still struck. We haven't got any warm-up facilities yet until we yeah. move. It's like the first six holes are always quite difficult holes anyway. I've got three iron because I'm going to go up the left and just fade favor, fade it in a little bit. It's going to strike. It's just going to be on on the I'm bank. Assuming it doesn't feed in from there. No. Right is pretty dead. Right is dead. Um, it's like that. You've got to run it into this green in the summer. You can't hit the green. Well, it, well, just you'll see it when back. we get up there, but the green is absolutely tiny. It's it's actually as small as it looks on the drone footage. A little skip up. What have you got? You've got about... Yeah, I've got about 20 yards. 20 just, yards. It starts stepping down, so it's just sort of get it over and it will uh, just run down. Is it running? We're running. Yeah. Well, that's good. Yeah, yeah that. absolutely fine, that. Good, good shot. Yeah, so if you try and run it over, yeah. you've got a gauze bus, so you need to fly it all the way over this, this hump. Change of shot, really, isn't it? If you get enough height, it will wedge. stop. 58 degrees. Open the face, flop it up. Yeah, very good. Very good, Dan. That's a mighty fine ball marker you've got there, Lee. It's all right. Have you, have you seen it? Yeah, I've seen that. Comes out. Oh. You like a bit of the old merch, don't you? You're a bit of a merch fan. I'll show you my head cover when I, when I get the three without. What, um, what are you thinking here? It's a slightly, it's a pretty straight shot, but it's just going to come in off the right. Snap right at the end on you. Whatever you want to do, tap it in. Take your four, Take as you four. said early on. Pretty straight. Yeah, not a lot in it to be to be fair. I've got it kind of maybe favouring the left half. Uh, yeah, I would do, but I wouldn't give the hole away. Don't give anything away. Great putt. Oh, was that a push from me? I'm not no, sure. no, it just sort of went at the end. Just wiggled right. Okay, Good still one over. What are you, four? Yeah. Okay, work Got some to work go. to do now.
fourth hole down, fourth 317. Hole. Um, it's downwind, so it's, it's actually a gettable green. What? Yeah, okay. It's, um, down and out the, it's down out the right, more probably more out the right. Yeah, it's it, if you can hit a low chaser, you, yeah. you've got a chance, but I'd favour the left side okay. of the fairway because it will all feed down to the right. Um, and then if you do go too far right, obviously there's not a lot there to go to go pleasantly well with. We need to get a couple going, don't we? Early on. Great drive. That's a wonderful drive straight at the flag. It's a lovely little bit of shape from left to right. Well, this is uh, absolutely spectacular along this coastline. It's, uh, it's one of those places where a lot of people come on holiday. It's a little hidden gem, as Lee likes to call it. The sort of place where if you're down here with your family, having a bit of fun, yep. and you just want to go and chill out for three hours, get out to Whitsand Bay and have a game of golf. Exactly. It's not, I don't know the exact green fees, but I think we're talking like 30-ish, 40 pound. Right. Nothing more than that, really, okay. for a guest. Yeah. So it's, uh, and it's a good test of golf, especially in the summer. Yeah, like, yeah. A lot of, we played a lot of area league, and. Um, They'd send all their low handicappers here, especially China Fleet. Yeah. They, they hate it because you can't hit greens. You have to run it in. You have to play it linksy in yeah, the, yeah, in the yeah. summer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They didn't like Cliff it. Cliff top course, but plays linksy. That's a good hit. Nothing wrong with that at all. Nothing wrong with that. Okay. Favour the left side. Yeah, that'll do. Yeah, that'll be absolutely fine there. Fifty yards. Zapped it. About 50 yards. 50 yards, <laughs> 53 yards middle, just short of middle then. That's what shot scope's telling me. Yeah. So, uh, so this is another one. Most of the greens go to the sea. A good yeah. rule of thumb around here. So you want to favour the left side. Greens, the flag's pretty much in the middle. Um, so, so I need what to you go got? What club you got? 58. 58. I need to go between the bunker and the, the flag. Okay. So I need to hit it really. Well, it's kind of drawn on you with the wind, I think. Should be okay. I've got It'll be all right. Not in the bunker. Positive. Sun's got about 40 yards. Um, I think that's an incorrect golf club, Dan. So, <laughs> I was, uh, I'll do a review on this, but um, Joe, the pro, spotted something in my uh, technique and he sort of suggested that I was getting a bit short, a bit stabby with my pitch shot. So he got, he got me kind of on this, on the case of this orange whip type style wedge where you kind of just focus on tempo a little bit more and uh, he was sort of talking about Justin Thomas and you'll watch him kind of in the masters and whatever but just trying to get nice and flow and smooth back and through so that's the sort of training aid for me at the moment I thought you were using that then no I'm not I was about it. to count your clubs just a feel, <laughs> just a feel thing 58 degree wedge 40 yards yeah. definitely favor the left it, but if you want an uphill pot, you want to finish it right, so it's it's a choice really. It needs to go a little bit. Yeah, go in. Go in. Oh, oh so Joe the pro might have, might have created some magic there for us. Didn't tell you it was a birdie <laughs> opportunity. Wow. <laughs> oh, 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 there she is. Lee down the hill, a little bit out the right. Yeah. Good opportunity, but you don't want to hit it too hard. Cause no, I don't, don't want to get too excited like me on the second. Right. Come on round. Okay. Are you tapping in or are you... Uh, yeah. Yeah, well, I'm... Okay, four down. Like I said on the tee, birdie opportunity. And this is pretty much just a tap in for Dan. Best putter on YouTube. Getting back to level par. Best putter. Best channel. Best putter. Oh, he's waterproof, so make uh, funny no, noises this morning. Well. Uh, I'm not convinced it's the waterproofs. Funny noises. I think it's you. I think you're just blaming the waterproofs. Easy. We're in. Back to Back level. To level. Get on. So that's Lou Island. Lou Island? Up there. I mean, yeah. So that's a target line for some of the holes we're coming to. Okay. And then that way you've got obviously course and um, you can normally see Eddiston Lighthouse just in the distance. You're not well. seeing that. Oh yeah, you can. Just about. I'm not it. sure I'm going to get that. I'm going to try and zoom in on you. But yeah. But there it is. When in the summer, the course, the the, the sort of water around here because it's pretty shallow is like a really nice. Yeah, blue. blue. It's, it's like your yeah. top. Yeah, it's just a beautiful blue colour. Surface paradise around here. Fifth hole, 353 yards from here. 
uh, best views on the course uh, you'll from this tee box to a raised green with two levels so there's a Mackenzie in the middle of this green and if you look at the drone footage there's a wall that separates seven and five um, and that does mop up the odd golf ball so you need to stay away from that there is a bank on the right that's GUR so if you finish in the bank you can take a free drop off it great shot and we'll just feed down to the right out of our yeah, that down. That'll just be uh, just past the bank on the right, just in the little semi rock. Yeah, it's a little out of the heel, I think, which kept it kind of from coming back on the wind at the right. This is like you can birdie this hole, but this is a, just a good par hole. Yeah, take your par again and move on. Same with uh, six coming up. So par three, just that's another one you want to get off with. Take your four and run, is take it? Four and run. <laughs> Problem is, Lee, you can't keep running away with bogeys. No, but there's birdie opportunities coming. Oh, there's so. birdies later. Okay, straight over the... Very tight, might just be left side of it. Yeah. Didn't fade. That was a brave line over that wall. Yes. 87 yards, 96 to the back edge. Yeah. Just left that we thought it was going to be a wall ball for a minute. That's the wall that runs along. There it is, the old Cornish wall. Right, I've got 54, probably three quarter one. Not the, not the greatest angle into this uh, leg down. Uh, yeah, okay, wind's off the right, might help you a bit. Got to go a bit, is it? It's walking. On the Mackenzie? Just, just on the front. Front edge, bit, yeah. okay. It's okay from there. Okay. The, the pin's on the top tier. So I play the back yardage because it is uphill, but taking the wind into account okay, at the same time. 88 to the middle, 98 to the back edge. Um, straight down out the right, isn't it? Yeah. I got 54. I like 54. I'm just giving a jump forward. Oh. Gotta come down. I think it might have to. Oh no, that should be okay. There is a ridge at the back, so as long as it's not gone too far, it'll go up and come back down, yeah. The great doctor is definitely yeah. showing himself, isn't he, around here? Yeah, there's a lot of... The common thing around here is you'll see his raised greens, and yeah. then there's the odd Mackenzie in the middle of a... Massive runoffs in the summer. Yeah, yeah. It's, um, if you come up here, you can sort of... You sort of it goes round and it ends up going back down towards the 16th. Yeah. Uh, not an easy two part. Not at all. Nasty little ridge you got to work with. Break right on the Mackenzie and then it's left after that towards the hole. So I think anywhere within a dust mill would be quite helpful. It's a bit low, isn't it? I know it's held it's up. It's round a little bit. It's held up. That's okay. Take that. Take I that thought that where it started, I thought that might just shoot off to the right a bit too much. So down just a little bit long, but it probably went up the backstop and rolled back down again. It's quite a handy little thing that. So everyone's aware we're just still playing um, lift clean and place in, in closely mown areas just because it's uh, still a little bit damp underfoot yeah, all feeding in there isn't it it'll speed up once it gets onto the green a little bit oh. it's a little push that one didn't wasn't your usual fluid putting stroke. I was really confident over that as well. I suppose you can't get the, the mowers too low round here because you get a bit of a breeze up and uh, it could uh, be deadly. Yeah, and I think just keeping the grass a bit longer protects it as well. Yeah, in the winter. yeah. But they are in the summer there, rapid. Rapid, like just slightly off the right. Yeah, good, very good. Well done, good finish up. <laughs> Good two part that really. Hey, cool. Sunday show with Joe the Pros brought your sink powder back in. It? <laughs> <laughs> it was calling me. I just did needed. You went, did you it... enter the competition, Lee? No, I don't need to. It was a sign. It was the, the Potter's way of saying, "Put me back in the bag." So Dan just tidying up for part. Yep, very good. So level par through five, and I'm plus four. One nine eight. What an absolutely. I mean, we keep saying that word, spectacular, but spectacular hole, this one. Sixth hole, 198 yards, that flag. It's just dangerous. You just can't go left. Anything left is dead. Up the right, you can feed it in a little bit. And then once you get onto the green, 
it's actually quite flat, but then on the left side, it will start to roll off down towards that slope again. Well, Is it that was right? flat. It was flat, yeah. yeah. You're starting to lose it, aren't you? Yeah. So once we get onto the green, you'll see it. There's a fault line that's running through the bank and through the green. So now we've got a bit of a Mackenzie on there, yeah. but it's um, it's not grassed. It's, it's actually So when the last time we played here, it was actually flat? Uh, yeah, so they flattened it through COVID. Yeah. They did the work, completely flattened it, but now the back part of the green slowly eroded its way into the and sea. And that's because that is just going, is it? Yeah, so what the plan is, is they have got they need to move the green, but they need to survey what else is moving before they can find a new place for the green. And that's costing how much every month? £1,000 a month to have it surveyed. So this play is about a club longer than the third, exactly the same wind. Um, and like you say, you need to, you really need to favour the right side. It's not a bad play to really miss right and just chip on, like, because left is nothing. I mean, you've told me that five was... I think five was the right club. Was it one nine? One nine eight into win, so it's going to probably play about two tennis. <laughs> yeah. So, do you know what? That's the miss, though. I just stood there thinking, what am I doing it in this five wood here? Lee, that is so far right. It's the right club, though. <laughs> that was just a complete collapse at the top of the swing. The problem is, is I don't think your three iron would get there because it didn't get to the third. And your next club is then a five iron, five wood. So it's basically anything just left of the the, the green is is gone, isn't it? Uh, it is a red stake, so you do get. Oh, it is water hazard, is it? Yeah. So okay. It is a red stake, so you do get. Uh, yeah, but then you've got to clear it, but you're carrying it from here, so it's where your point of entry is, isn't it? Which is going to be here. Uh, yeah, unless you. Drawn it into drawn it. Drawn it into it. Okay, hybrid for you. Yeah, three hybrid. Little disappointed in my performance on that shot. I'm not going to lie. Just a lower option. Oh. What's yeah. it doing? Here it comes. It's coming back down, is it? Uh, it stopped at the top. Not an easy shot, this, because it's 50 yards. You have to throw it toward all the way. If you get this slightly wrong, you're going to end up either in the bank short or you could go over the cliff. The problem with the bank short is it's like it, it does this, so anything running down the bank is never going to get down to the actual pin. Get down, get down. Just, down. just at the back. That's, that's, that's in trouble as well. That this is there. now a very good four if you get it. <laughs> Take my four, eh? Right, Lee. That's a little it's bit got, easier. <laughs> yeah, a little bit easier, but you've got a nice little lie as well. It's like it's sat up on like a little tufty bit. I don't want to throw this too far because you want to land it short, it will still Yeah, it will still run out, yeah. Uh -oh. oh. Might have enough momentum. Just. Oh, wow, you rattled through it. <laughs> you've got a putt. Well done. <laughs> All right, this will be a good four, Dan. Yeah. It'll be a great, a great four. <coughs> 58 because I'm de-lofting it so much. Good shot. Sit, 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 sit. All gonna run away. The fault line you can see this crack going all the way along here and then it's going straight through the middle of the green and that used to be flat but isn't anymore. So when I say you get through this first six two over it's three and six that you're happy to walk off with a four. I'm not really happy with and then if I didn't have a triple on the first it would have been two over. So yes. Yeah. From this point on you can score them, right? Go on then, go on then. Oh my word, how's that not gone in? Okay, four is in. Four is in. Just poor we were poor on our uh T shots, Lee. Yeah. T shots weren't great, second shots weren't ideal. You've got to be more committed on your T shot because you're then left with more trouble when you get further down here. Go on then, then. mop it up. It's out the right of this. Great part, great part. Oh! Wow. Oh. Really shoved at the end, didn't it? That's a double, Lee. Oh, that is a, a double. And a double between us. Great goal. So you're Let's get past these first six, shall we? Plus two, I'm now plus five. Let's go make some birdies. Sorry Dad, I said there'd be no wind today. <laughs> you did say there'd be no wind, Lee, but well, there is a lot is, of wind. This is Cornwall. Uh, seventh hole, 408 yards, par four. 
stroke index one. Yeah. It's not really the hardest hole for us. It's more because of the distance and the, the sort of older members can't get there in two. Uh, but it's pretty much straight up the hill, slightly uphill towards the end. Um, the two bunkers you can see are currently out of play because they're being revetted and yeah. filled in. But you just want to be as far as possible down this hole. Yeah, it's good, isn't it? Well, right, at the bot right at the bottom of that bank. Not where you want to be, Daniel. Okay. Wind needs to push that left a bit. I didn't see that okay. down. It's fine there. It's, uh... As long as it's not in the deep rough, you're fine. And it's no, a good it's angle into that the, flag. The right side. He's got to the base of this old, what I would think is like an old bunker, maybe. Yeah, it's not, not where you want Grass to be. Grass bunker. Uh, it's about 160 downwind. I'm going to have to try and muscle a 9-iron because I need to get over that. Yeah. Um, anything further right is a great shot. <laughs> Never mind, it's where we are. Give it a smack. Yeah, you've muscled it out. A little bit left, but... I'll be okay, just opinion. chip up onto the green, you'll be absolutely fine there. One, uh, one six five, Lee. Yep. I've got seven iron. It's downwind. It is seven iron. Uh, yeah, but it's slightly uphill. Yeah, That's another yeah. another funky green for you to Maybe navigate. Down. Just straight at it, Dan. It's uh, it just down. starting to go left. About, way probably, probably just off the left side of the green, I think. Like an absolute rocket. Little flyer. Okay, Lee. Just over like the bunker. The <laughs> yeah, well, it's out of play, so you can't even just pretend it's not even there. Over the, anywhere over the bunkers, it's good to shot here. It's good. Yeah, it's nice. Thanks. Very good. Easy shot. Well done. It was an eight iron Very down. wrong. It's probably even nine. Yeah. Um, okay. Uh, Not an easy chip, this. Because everything. Eight, and I'm going to just try and land it just short of the green, let it flip forward, and then hopefully trip, uh, trundle down towards the flag. No. So. Didn't trundle like I thought it might, you know? No. Still cold and damp around Dan, so you're not getting the run you would normally. Let's see what Dan can see. See if you can read that one for him. It's going to die left. It's going to go this way, and then it's going to come back that way. Yeah. After this, we've got three par fives in four holes, Dan. Okay. Tap it in. I'm not going to lie, I'm very upset with that one. Come on then, Lee. Let's get this up and down little uh, stat on there for you. It was a tough pin positioning that. This is a massive slope just oh, here as well. Well, a couple of choppers, aren't we? Oh. A couple of choppers. <laughs> Eighth hole then, Lee. Par five. Par five, 466. So it's not a long par five, but you can see those bunkers in the fairway. Yeah, they dangerous. Are, they are perfect landing area. Yeah. Reveted, so they're pot bunkers, so yeah. difficult to get out of. Um, the pin's quite friendly today on the left hand side, but there's pot bunkers around the, the green as well. And then gorse bus all the way down the left. And Absolutely the loving right. the features of these gorse bushes wrapping around this golf course. Don't remember those in the summer, but they are in full bloom and looking in beautiful. The, in the summer, the rough grows up as well, so it, it toughens the course up yeah. and everything runs, so it's it's a completely different beast in the summer. Though. Yeah. Right, any other left, try and fade it into the centre. Okay. You've done it, keep fading. It needs to not go as far right as it looks like it's going to. Oh, it's clear there. Yeah, it's fine. It's fine. Absolutely fine down there. there. A little bit hit. tight with that bunker, but I won't go that tight, Dan. <laughs> but no. that that left bunker and probably the first one on the right are in play from here with the wind the way it is. Okay. Um, but from there you can get to the green in two. That's so uh, it could be flirting with them. Right in the middle one, I think. 
it may just be short of it, but it look it definitely no, bounced towards of, it. I think it's kind of right in between the middle of them two, or it will fall into that middle one. Yeah, there's there's quite a big gap between the bunkers. Is there? It yeah. might be all right then that one. This one, the pin is quite friendly. It's on the very left of of the um, of the green. Everything rolls in. Two thirteen middle, two twenty five through the back, two o two the front. So, so I'm thinking. It's probably about 205 to the flag. Okay. Um, I would aim at that bunker left yeah. of it and let it feed round to the right. Let it do its thing from there? Yeah. Straight at it. Are we going to see that anywhere? No. I think that's miles. If it's gone past, there is a bunker at the back, but it is GUR because that's one that's not been finished yet but that's come out so hot. okay um, lee on the left side absolutely fine here you actually got exactly the same yardage as me yeah, i was gonna say it's it's pretty similar for me though it's a slightly different angle i'm gonna aim at the bunker and try and fade it okay. onto that onto that pin hope i don't get a fly like either. hybrid for lee oh, oh he's he topped it top run but don't run into the gorse run Oh, I thought you were going to rip that one. Uh, just you know when you like, so you're over a boy, like, oh, come on, come on, and then you produce that rubbish. Yes. 91 yards, the flag then, Lee. Yeah, what well, was a very nice birdie opportunity, suddenly... Uh, turned into, let's turned run, into, run let's away get, with some pars. Let's get some pars if we can. Uh, Club? 54, not going to take it all the way. Just maybe three quarters of the way, and yep. hopefully it'll run down. Go, 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 go. go, go. That is not correct. It's a little shy, but you might be able to get your putter onto it. Just 30 yards to the front of this green then, uh, Lee. Same, same shot as last same time. Same shot. Are we going a bumper run this time though? Yeah. Club? Oh, 9-9. Nine, 9-9. Nine. Nine, nine. Making a meal of this. It's coming around. It's coming around. Um, got That's okay. That's all right. Better shot. Here. Yep. So Dan was in the bunker, which is currently GUR because it needs yeah. to have sand in it. So drop out. Good opportunity for birdie now. I'm going to just change this to a little seven. Put it like a little thump and run. Yeah. You know? Good opportunity for a little first birdie of the day. You need to. Someone needs to start the, the ball rolling. Birdie. Is it? Didn't I get one? Uh, Up the hill, that one there. Oh yeah. Minus. Yeah, you did. Fourth. Yeah, you did. Correct, correct it then, Dan. Go a bit, go a bit. Yeah, nice shot, nice shot. Okay, it'll do me. Right, rock it in, come on. I feel a little bit like I've let this one slip a little bit. Easily done around these uh, windy golf courses, top of cliffs. Don't know when you top it, does it? <laughs> yeah, tops don't help. Uh, if wind ain't gonna affect that. Oh, that's aggressive putting again. Huh? Aggressive putting, it scares the life out of me. Give it a hell of a clout. I'm more of a like a, you know, pop it in the front door man, you know, <laughs> rather than smashing it into the back. Yeah, I'm not. <laughs> yeah, very well okay. done. Very right. well done. Move on, we'll get one back. Another par five as well coming up. Come on then. Okay, if you can birdie this. Yeah. And be one over through the back front nine. Yeah. I think you'll go under par. Okay. Um, 520 yard par five. Subtle dog leg from left to right. I don't see any bunkers kind of down the fairway. There's a bit of um, a bit of that gorsy stuff down the right. So left is more favourable. And then up by the green leaf, we've got a couple of traps up there. They are, but they're GUR because okay. they're being worked on. So There's two really big hits today to get that up there, isn't it? Uh, yeah, and it's a pretty slopey green as well. Yeah. Stay there, it's the left side of the fairway. It's okay there, it's a little bit deeper off. Yeah, that, Might that, struggle to that get that there in two. like it just sat down. Come on, let's have a high draw from you. High I bomber. I, I don't feel the high draws anymore. No, you're not seeing it? No, I don't, I don't like it. I, I tend to push. push play, it or, play what you like then. Or hook it. Yeah, I like that play. Literally, it's going to be on top of my golf ball, I reckon. No, Just left of that, by that little marker pole down there. Yeah, Absolutely back. fine. Right, Dan, how far have you got? 
271 yards, Lee. I've got my five wood, but the grass is laying this way, so it's against me, so it's kind of plugged into it. It's not plugged, but it's kind of plugged into it. Um, be a good five wood out of here. Well, it's going to struggle to come out, I think, but I can only really get an eight iron onto it, which is only going to go maximum sort of 100, 120 yards. So I'm just going to try and rip this and see what happens. Yeah, straight at it, Dan. Yeah, yeah. It's the best you're going to do. Better than an eight iron, would it? Probably got about 100 left in from where that'll finish up. Yeah. Look at that, dug that out, didn't I? Douglas. Bit of dugging. Shot scope telling me 264, Lee. Yeah, it's not going there. Again, I'm just... I'm going to hit a hybrid, hopefully somewhat better than the last time I hit it. Uh, and just try and leave myself a, a nice wedge in. Okay. If it comes out like a rocket, it's got a chance, but... It's going to have to nice come out with a lot of... I've got uh, a, lot, a nice bit of fluff in front of A lot of ball. fly. This is... Uh, a it's a nasty little bit in the middle here, isn't it? It's got rough. It really sits down. Oh, come out like an absolute beauty. Get on. It's a bit short, but it's Up uh, you go, that's right. very impressive, that. Absolute awesome, rocket. How far? 70, 69 yards. We've got to the middle. Yeah, that pin's just at the back, so I'd probably say it's about 72-ish to it. 80, 80 to get through the back. 84. 82 to get through the back. So this, this is like a dangerous green in the summer. It's not too bad now, but you can see the slope left to right. Um, anything in the summer just will keep running. If you want an uphill pot, favour the right, but I'd still try and land it to the left because it will go right, okay. unless it just hops and stops. 58 degree wedge. It's got to go a bit, hasn't it? Didn't really want to take that much divot, but... Look how deep that is. Yeah, uphill part, but yeah, a little, little diggy. Right, really important that you get up and down here, Lee. We want the turn yeah, is, with so a birdie from you. So a man who's confident with wedges, unlike us two, would probably have a little flick at this with a wedge. I was going to bump and run it with a nine iron, feed it up the left, and it will all. Yeah, sensible come down. play. Sometimes a little bump and run is an underrated shot. Yep, agree. Oh, miss all those banks. Just jumped in the air, didn't it? Yeah, just... The problem is you've you got a few little bumps and humps there to deal with. Oh well, I can uphill, make that. Uphill putt. So an uphill putt for Dan, but this has got a lot of swing on it. Massive. Massive putt. It's not a putt you want in the summer. No, you could be <laughs> down here before you... It'd be good if, I mean, our balls would have ended up down there, wouldn't they? Yeah. If you miss this green left in the summer, like you're just yeah. down here, just take your medicine. It needs to go. Got to win them, Dan. Trying desperately to get birdies out of this golf course. There are opportunities. See, that's short as well, Lee. So Gotta hit them so hard, haven't you? So short. Oh, this could be... I mean, they're rolling very true. Yeah, they're just... Uh, come on. This is not a bogey hole. Not from where we've uh, got ourselves into a tee. Or second shots. Second shot. <laughs> There's your swing you're talking about. Yeah. Massive amount of movement on that. Even this isn't the tapping. It is for you, Lee. <laughs> Absolutely fine, that. Solid, solid playing to 16 at the minute. <laughs> it's the biggest um, saviour around here though for a lot of this golf course is the wind and the greens, isn't it? Yeah, when the wind's up like this, it's a tough course. Yeah, you stood there in the, in the car park and you're like, just as much wind as you're going to get today, there's no wind today. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> get out onto the golf course like a three club wind. <laughs> <laughs> I cannot just fall around the edge. Oh my goodness. Oh, what a way to finish that part, eh? So, end of part one? End of part one. I am plus three. And Lee, I don't even know what you are. Plus eight. Plus eight. Yeah, yeah. We'll see you, uh, we'll see you for the back nine where there will be, I promise you, there'll be more birdies on the back nine.